this morning we are going to be traveling up to um, my parents house they live about three and a half hours away so we're going to be doing a solo road trip with all three kids i don't know if you can see them all walking in the background but they are solo trip with all three kids um so i'm going to give you guys my best tips for traveling with littles by yourself um what works really well for our family and hopefully it'll work well for you so my first tip is while you are packing your diaper bag, so I'm in the process of doing that right now, while you are getting your diaper bag stuffed together, my first tip is to make sure you have extra clothes for every single kid. I don't care what age they are. Um, every single kid needs an extra set of clothes that are easily accessible. I just put an extra pair in the diaper bag, even though we already have a different suitcase pack just so that if someone has an accident or someone throws up, like last trip, um, you have easy clothes, easy to grab um, right there um, behind your seat. So first tip, number one, extra clothes for every single kid. All right, my next tip is to make sure that all of your kids eat something that's going to fill them up before you get in the car. So you're not hearing in half an hour, an hour that everybody's hungry, they all have full bellies. Um, Jackson gets pretty car sick, so he chooses to eat peanut butter and jelly before we go. So right now they are making their own peanut butter and jellies. Um, I do the peanut butter, they just like to put the jelly on. Um, and Colton is eating some pancakes, so we're gonna get their bellies full before we start loading up the car. So it's been tip number two, everyone eats something before you get in the car. All right, my next tip is going to be car snacks. So I got these containers um, from Walmart. Um, in their back to school section. They have been perfect for my kids. So we have, they each have their own cup and then they have, they've picked out goldfish and cookies. I know it's only seven o'clock in the morning and I'm letting my kids have cookies, but I found that if my kids eat sugar first when we first get in the car, then they'll stay awake a little bit longer um, and sleep the last part of the road trip, which I actually prefer because at the end they're kind of getting grumpy. So I like to give them a little bit of sugar. So either some sort of candy or in this case, um, rainbow chocolate chip cookies um, to give them a little bit of sugar to get the road trip started. And then they have goldfish. Since I'm traveling by myself, I will open these for them. And then they just sit back here next to their car seat and Olivia's will sit next to her so that they are able to get snacks without um, my help um, since I'll be the one driving and won't exactly be able to reach them. So tip number three, car snacks. Number four is a car potty. So it doesn't really matter what age your kids are. I got this when Jackson was potty training, but it's turned out to be a lifesaver on multiple trips. So we just got one of these little like summer infant, um, my fun potties just to keep in the car. It is our car potty. Um, I'm not saying I've used it before, but it has come in handy. Um, if you have three toddlers and you're trying driving by yourself, you don't really want to drag them into a public bathroom, um, even before COVID and I was pregnant peeing all the time that, um, definitely a lifesaver a couple times. Um, so I'll show you guys how I set this up to set up the car potty when we need to use it. Um, you just open up, this has a little seat lid. I'll just open out the inside and I just have some leftover, um, pull-ups that my kids don't use anymore or that are too small for them. So just put it in like you would normally. The back goes in the back part. Wrap it so that the whole way pretty secure the whole way around. And then just stick it back in normal and put the seat back down. So now as um, your little ones pee into the seat, all of that will get collected into the pull-up. And then when you're done with it, you can just pull this right back out. Throw it into a bag. We keep a stack of bags in our car, so just throw it into a bag and then just toss it out um, whenever you get somewhere that has a trash can instead of having to deal with cleaning out the inside of the potty, dumping that out, um, when you might not always be in a spot that that's able to happen. So it just makes it nice and easy, and then we always just clean the potty whenever we get to where we're going. Um, so that's how we set up our car potty. All right, my next tip is tip number five is some source of entertainment for my kids. The big kids get super car sick, so we know that their only option of entertainment in the car is pretty much watching movies or watching DVDs. So we are lucky enough to have a DVD player in our van this time. Before we had a vehicle that had a van in it, I got these little car organizer things that have the clear pocket up top and I put their Amazon tablets 
kids' tablets up top so that I can, especially when they're rear facing, you can hook it to the back of the seat and they can, if you go ahead and download movies, they can watch those and they'll replay so you're not having to um, press start or anything like that, especially if you're the one driving. And right now, since we do have a DVD player, I have one of these baskets like the kids do and I just keep DVDs that are accessible for me. And I do know how to work it without looking at it. So I've practiced doing that a couple times. So they just have a couple movies that they like that I know will keep them entertained for a little bit. We got Mickey Mouse, Frozen, of course, um, Super Y, and the B movie. So we just keep a couple in the car um, to keep them entertained if they're awake and um, need something to be doing. So tip number five, entertainment. In our case, it is DVDs. All right, my tip number six, if you're traveling by yourself, um, with toddlers or especially babies is to keep baby toys, baby binkies, whatever keeps your little one entertained right by you, right within arm sight. Um, so we just keep in my, again, in this little thing, I just keep a couple things that I know will keep him entertained. Just a couple of his little toys. And then one of his favorite things to play with right now is just to empty water bottles. I do make sure they're completely empty so that um, he's not spilling water all over himself since he is pretty smart and can undo the cap sometimes. But he likes the crinkling noise. Um, and it's an easy thing that if he's fussy, cranky, and then we're driving, I can't stop him by myself. I can just toss one into him. It's not going to crack him in the head or anything. Just easy to keep him entertained for a couple minutes. And then I also have a stack of binkies. Um, he gets mad when he drops his binky. So I have a bunch of extras that I can just hand one back to either Olivia to pass to him, or I can just kind of dangle over his seat till he grabs it enough that I can um, keep driving without the baby crying. So tip number six is make sure you have some sort of entertainment for the baby as well, which in this case is just little baby toys, empty water bottles, and binkies within arm's reach for the driver. So we are loaded up and we are in the car, just pulled out of our house. My last and final tip for you guys is just to know your kids. It used to be easier for us to travel when it was dark outside, when it was just the big kids. They travel best at nighttime so they can just sleep the whole time. But once we've had Colton, he does not like traveling in the dark. Um, he screams the whole time and screaming babies trump other babies. So we travel best now. Um, first thing in the morning, get them up, get them fed, and then throw them in the car. If we travel later in the day, the big kids have a really hard time going to sleep at night because they're not used to taking naps and they all, without fail, will at least fall asleep for a little bit in the car. So if we travel first thing in the morning, then they still have enough time to play whenever we get somewhere and get some of that energy out so they can sleep just fine that evening. And my big kids get pretty bad car sick, so we found that they need to be taking Dramamine before we even get into the car. And that's worked really well for them. Sometimes if they're doing something else in the car, like reading, Jackson's for sure not allowed to read anything in the car um, that makes him sick. I know my sister's kids really like the Water Wow books um, and they do well with that type of car activity. So last and final tip is just know your kids. You're the parent. Whatever you find works is what you should be doing. So thank you so much. Um, if you found this useful, please give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Please, please, please um, subscribe to our channel. And that's it for today. So we are going to hit the road and hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.